apparently under my truck has become the flock's new favorite hiding place on hot days. But I got work for you guys to do. You chickens are not going to be freeloaders today. And I got just the thing to incentivize you guys to go where I want you to go. Ooh, what's that, guys? What's this? Is it your favorite dried out corn? All right. So let's go do some work on the compost pile. Excuse you guys. Excuse you. Excuse you. Can I can I walk? I'm walking here. I'm trying to walk here, and you chicks are just all up in my way. What is this? What is this? You want some of the gabagool? Well, let me cut it off and put it in the pile for you. Because today you guys are going to work. We ain't playing no beat cob. Why are you jumping on me? You have lost your mind. Especially you. Don't. No. Bad bard rock. Excuse you. Good lord, you guys are gonna end up getting stuck with this knife. Don't you see I have a knife out? Don't be jumping on me when I have a knife out. Here, eat that. Let me try to cut this onto the pile for you guys, because goodness gracious. Get down, blonde. Nope. No roosters at the top of the pile. You guys are not going to jump on me. We ain't playing that. Get down. Get down. This barely has anything on it, but I'm sure you guys are going to want to play beak cob with it anyway. Okay, now we can get to the main attraction of today's video, which is this compost thermometer I bought. So we're going to start applying some science to this Sneed project I'm doing here and figure out exactly what temperature it's at. And you don't even think about jumping on me. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. All right, so you can see everything's labeled real good. So 
hopefully we're going to be in this area here. So it's about two feet long. And as long as this stays within the green area, then I know we're good. And while that's going, I'm gonna go get some water because this pile is definitely gonna need water today. We're going into a heat wave for the next I think three or four days. Why are you guys following me? Did I not just give you corn? Yeah, we're going into a heat wave where it's gonna get up to about 100 degrees for the next few days. Hopefully it's the last one of this year. So I am over these heat waves. What do all of you guys want? Why are you following me? I don't have corn. I'm just getting water. I might have to go drop some feed on that pile. Well, I'm gonna turn it anyway, so I guess I don't really need them to work the pile. What do you guys want? I know you don't want water. Maybe if I missed it, they'll like that. Let's see. All right, do you guys want mist? Is that what we're looking for? You wanna be a misty boy? Hmm, you don't really seem to mind. You guys want some mist? So you can cool off? No, they don't want mist. Just dude, dude bro here with the crazy hair. All right, so. There goes Mr. Blonde. He's been a pain in the butt lately. Because he likes to run off outside of the fence and go in the woods and stuff and he takes other chickens with him they're easy to get back into the field but he will stay out there <laughs> yeah that's right mr blonde i'm talking about you yeah you are my main troublemaker rooster don't run from me mr blonde you know what you do. What? What do you guys want from me? I don't need this to get too full. Since I'm carrying it by hand right now, I'm probably gonna lose a little bit. I should just use my truck for this, but with all the chickens wanting to live under my truck, it's kind of hard to move it right now. This one here was trying to climb up on top of the truck and look at itself in the mirror. It's like one of those songbirds. Except you're not a songbird, you're a big white chicken.
Let's carry this water back. Where do the rest of the birds go? Oh well, anyway. Let me get to stirring this stuff up. See what this says. We're right about where we need to be, a little bit over a hundred. I want it to be a little warmer than this. Because I can get it up to about 130 before you know it starts kind of getting back into the too hot danger zone. So Let's see I can't help improve this pile's health. It's very dry. That's one thing I notice. Let the chicken scratch this. So I'll throw half a cup of feed on top and let them get active. jumping up here. Don't even think about it.
looks like I'm still missing a couple birds. One, two, three. Actually, okay, let's do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Who's missing? Maybe they're all here. Let me try one more count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I think actually they're all here. Okay. She scratched all the way down to the bare ground. <laughs> A little skinny rooster just bullied one of the hens. And this pile doesn't have any bad smell at all. For those of you that are maybe wondering whether or not a compost pile smells. As long as you have enough wood chips, you know, it's basically carbon. It uh, neutralizes any bad smell that you would have from chicken poop or rotting material or anything like that. You can see if I grab a handful of it. You know, it's still pretty fresh. I mean, it's only been active for maybe about a week now. But all that stuff's going to break down into good soil. Isn't that right, Mr. Red Rooster? Wow, that was not very nice. Come here. Why'd you do that to her? She didn't deserve that. What did she do to you? Huh? You think because you're not the dominant rooster you're going to go around bullying the pullets? No, sir. We do not bully the hens. We protect the hens. No, go be nice. Oh, my God.
Yeah, that guy seems like he's being a bully. All right, so most of the coop has come off the pile at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting things back together. So since all this stuff is really dry, I think I'm definitely going to put one bucket of water over this stuff. So is this going to stay here? Nope. This GoPro keeps turning off on me. I guess it's getting too hot, but I'm gonna throw another bucket of water on this pile and I think it'll be where it needs to be at that point. in the center too. Alright guys, it's chow time. <laughs> 